horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. of the Civil War, the government sent federal troops to the western United States for the protection of the settlers. But the officers in charge had no experience with the frontier. And if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains, they might never have brought the Indians and outlaws under control. It was the Lone Ranger's strength and courage, and above all, his knowledge of the country that made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're on the trail of the Gary Gang! It's going to be trouble! Hello, Silver! How are you? Keep your eyes peeled, men. Dangerous territory. Yes, sir, Captain. Right, sir. Rifles slung handy across their military saddles. A detail of cavalry moved at a hand trot through hilly country. Their faces were weary and tense, their horses worn out from the long ride. But the soldiers kept a sharp lookout. Knuckles were white from gripping the rifles. Every man seemed to be waiting. Waiting for a... There it comes. Dismount. Captain, it's an ambush. Down, all of you. Down. Pull down your horses. Down, down, boy. Quick, quick. quick. Down, down. Range is about 300, Captain. No breeze, dead calm. Make it 350. Pick your target, open fire. I can't see nobody to shoot at, Captain. It's an ambush. Get down, Brandon. Well, they'll get us sure. We'll all be killed. I you said get down. No, we won't live. None of us will Everything live. Everything all... stop sniffling. Use that carbine. It's the dirty gang. Where they are on the hill. We should have had skirmish. Make those bullets count. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hi, lift your sights. Your shots are hitting the dirt. Can't whip anybody that way. Let me out of here. Let Brandon, me... you'll get the guardhouse for this. We'll all be killed. Get down. Down before they get Oh. Down. Oh, I'm shot. Here, let me see. I'm shot. Stand I'm still, you fool. Let me rip that sleeve open. Is it, is it bad? Am I Nothing good? but a scratch, Brandon. Pick up that rifle. No. Unless we make it too hot for those outlaws. What's that? I said pick up that rifle. No, I won't. Hey, I Captain, something's going on. What is it? What's happening? I ain't going to fight. I'll be killed. I ain't going to fight. Hodge, McCarthy, shirt lift. Keep up the fire. We've got to... Oh, silver. Well, I'll be. It's a masked man on a white horse. He's driven them off. There's an engine with him. Gary's men are scattering. Shoot him down. Hold your fire. The cap, they're breaking up. Hold your fire. We might hit the masked man and the Indian. Mount your horses. All right, men. Up the slope. Forward. Go. Get ready. Alert. Sergeant, bear left. Right, sir. The mud horse is fading awful fast, Captain. Captain Kinnard. Come on, boy. Faster. Captain. It's a masked man, Captain. He says pull up. Look at them outlaws stricken for cover. Detail! Halt! It's no use going after them, Captain. Your horses are worn out. You know my name? We've been riding hard after you for several days, Captain. Mm, that's right. We come from Fort. I'm obliged for the way you flanked the enemy, mister. How many were there? What would you say, Tutter? Maybe 20, 25. The leader? Man with a beard, tall and big. Rode a rust horse. Yeah, that would be Gary, all right. Well, what are we standing here for, Captain? Let's go after him and get the barman. Oh, quiet, quiet, man. Captain, 
Believe me, your horses are tired. Gary's are fresh. You couldn't catch him. You might just as well walk into another ambush, a more deadly ambush. Ah, it get dark soon, Kimosabe. Now, that's true. You couldn't trail them in the dark. The odds are against you. Besides, you've accomplished your mission. One moment. Mister, I've already thanked you, but it appears to me you're well up on what this detail was sent out to do. Your orders were to head west and contact Gary's outlaws, establish their position and return. May I ask how you learned that? Quite simple, Captain. I learned it from Major Selby. Did, eh? Your mask, mister. The Major doesn't usually confide in men wearing masks. Perhaps with... this will convince you. Huh? A note from the Major. Oh, yes. Captain Kennard, commanding scout detail. Please be advised that the... Oh, I see. You're the Lone Ranger. Yes. Lone Ranger. After your detail had already left, Tonto and I brought word to the fort of Gary's position. Then we Then came... you rode out to warn us. Uh, we come late. Well, too late to warn us, perhaps, but in plenty of time to help us. You return to the fort now? Yeah, those were my orders. We should leave scouts, though. And Tonto's an excellent scout. Yeah, my men are worn out. Horses tired. Tonto keep watch on outlaw band. Good. You leave a trail so we can follow it, Kimosabe? Uh, Tonto do it. Well, that's that. All right, men. Detail heads back to the fort. Hodge, McAfee, Shirtliff. Any casualties outside of Brandon? No, no sir. Not at all. Good. Now, uh, Brandon, you'll report to the doctor when we... Oh, where is he, huh? Brandon isn't here? No, sir. Brandon! He's gone. And his horse is gone. Captain, we saw one of your men heading back for the fort. And we thought he was a dispatch rider. I sent no dispatch. That was Brandon. The coyote's deserted. Deserted? Oh, that bad. Bad for Brandon. He'll face a court-martial for this. All right, detail... At the trot. Forward. Hold. Captain. Yes? You're not planning to go after this deserter? We're doing it right now, mister. What do you mean? Brandon's heading only one way. He'll go back to the fort. That's where his wife is. His wife, huh? I see. He'll be there, and we'll get him. McAfee, Hodge, act as rear guard. Sixty paces in rear. Santa, did you hear that? Uh Uh-huh. Me here. This man, Brandon, has a wife at the fort. He's sure to face a court-martial. Uh, him desert. Did you get a good look at him, Tonto? Uh, what you mean? I did. He looked very young. It must have been his first time under fire. Maybe so, but yes, him... I know. That doesn't excuse desertion. Not in the army. But still, Tonto, do you remember the young woman who walked past us while we were outside the Major's quarters in the fort? Ah. That was Mrs. Brandon, Tonto. Oh, her heap young. Young and devoted to her husband. You heard her mention him to those other women, how proud she was? Uh, what you do? I don't know, Tonto. I don't know. But perhaps that deserter needs help. You help? I'm going to look into it, Tonto. You stay here on the scouting job. Silver can get me back to the fort long before Brandon gets there. Long before the captain's men get there. Uh, I don't know where or when we'll meet, but your trail will be clear. Take uh, care of yourself, Kimosabe. You watch out. And nothing can happen. I'll head for the fort now. Uh, Tonto feel maybe you meet danger. You watch out. All right, Tonto. Pick up Gary's trail before it gets cold. Adios. Uh, we meet soon. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Well, Silver, Tonto thinks we're heading for trouble. Perhaps we are. This deserter isn't our affair. And yet... Come on, Silver. We're heading for the fort. Come on, boy. Hail, Silver! Me, ma'am, I didn't see you in the dark. Could, could the major tell me? Uh, oh, it's you, Mrs. Brandon. Is, is there any word? Same question, eh? Same question and the same answer. Sorry, ma'am, no word from Captain Canard's detachment. But your husband will be safe. All the men will be safe. No word yet. Don't I... worry. All you young wives worry. Doesn't do a bit of good. He'll be back. They'll all be back. I, I hope so. Good soldier, Canard. He'll bring him back. Oh, that's tattoo. Sorry, must be going. Good night, Mrs. Brandon. Good night. Good night, Major. Six days now and still no word. John was so worried. He didn't tell me, but I could read it in his eyes. He was frightened. Wait. Oh. Mrs. Brandon. Who, who are you? It's dark. I... No, don't open the door. Not yet. But I can't see your face. This is an army post. If I scream, the guard will come. I came here to tell you something Wait. about... Your voice. I, I recognize it. You're the man I saw outside the major's office. The man wearing the mask. Keep your voice down. You rode out after Captain Kennard's detail. Did you find them? Yes, I did. And you... You're back so soon. Nothing's happened to John. Nothing's happened to my husband. Please, not so loud. Tell me, tell me. Your, your husband's all right. Oh, thank heavens for that. I, the way you say that, as if, as if something were wrong, I... It's hard to say, Mrs. Brandon. 
What do you mean? Mrs. Brandon, I rode hard all the way to get here before you learned from another source. What are you trying to tell me? You, you said John wasn't hurt. Mrs. Brandon, your husband has deserted. Did it? No. No, he didn't. He's on his way here now. I passed his trail. He didn't desert. He didn't. His horse is tired. He won't get here until after sundown tomorrow. That means a court martial. Captain Kennard will arrive only a short while after him. There won't be much time. Court martial, the, the firing squad deserted. Mrs. Brandon, you love your husband? Love him? He, he's all I have. Then you've got to save him from himself. Don't let him run away. No. A man can't run away from himself. Once he goes, he'll never get over being a coward. He can't stay here. You've got to force him to stay here. Oh, no, no, I can't. Now, listen to me. If you love him, you've got to help him, but not the way you think. I'll be back tomorrow night. I want to be here when he arrives. You've got to stop him. He should be here. The masked man said after sundown, he, he should be... Door. Someone walking. John. 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 Oh, John, it's you. Oh, hello, you, darling. I... Oh, my arm. Your arm. You're wounded. Oh, it ain't nothing. Just a scratch. Honey, I got to tell you something. No, no. Just let me hold you. Same time. I got to. Well, I can't stay. See, something happened out in the detail. John, and... if you're trying to tell me you deserted, don't I? I already know about it. I didn't mean to. Them rifles bang, and I got panic. I had. You're to... not a coward. You couldn't help it. I... I love you. Oh, I knew it. I was riding away. I... Mary. Mary, how'd you know what happened? Huh? How'd you know about it? I came as fast as my horse could travel. The captain. He beat me to the fort. He's here now? John, they'll court martial you. The captain got here first, huh? Mary, I gotta get away. The captain isn't here, John. He... He, he ain't. Then how did you know? How did you... I told her, Brandon. What the... Never mind your gun. I'm here as a friend. The masked man. You came after me. Brandon, you've got to listen. I've already told your wife you can't run off would brand you as a coward forever. Stay here. Redeem yourself. Your wife will tell you it's the only thing to do. I, I changed my mind, Put Mr. down that gun, Mrs. Brandon. Don't move. I'll, I'll shoot you if you take one step. John, get away. Get away before the captain gets here. Mrs. Brandon, we talked this over last night. Your husband must stay. No. No, I won't let him. All night long I didn't sleep. Stayed awake. Thinking, thinking. Honey, listen. No. No, please go. Go now before it's too late. You can get in touch with me later. I'll join you later. Go before they put you before a, a firing squad. Brandon, listen to me. Your wife is wrong. Mister, I don't want to shoot. Don't make me. Mary, put down that gun. I'm not worth it. Go, John, go. Uh, I'll send for you. Goodbye. <laughs> John, I... You can put that gun down now, Mrs. Brandon. He's made his choice. What? I, I know you meant well, but I couldn't stand it. Suppose they'd court-martialed him. Suppose he'd been stood up against a wall. I told you once before, a man can't escape from himself. No matter how fast he rides, his cowardice rides with him. He's not a coward. He's lost his chance to prove otherwise. What you have done is... That's the front door. You'd better answer it, Mrs. Brandon. Yes, I'll answer it. Your husband made his choice. Don't tell them, please. Not a thing, Mrs. Brandon. Yes? Mrs. Brandon, I'm sorry to inform you that your husband will come out and place himself under arrest. My... My husband isn't here. No. I happen to know Begging that he... the captain's part. Well? I checked the back of the house, Captain. There's hoof marks come and gone. It was Brandon's horse, Captain. He's left. He's... Uh, I see. Who's that with you, Mrs. Brandon? You want me, Captain? Yes, mister. I do. I thought it was you. So you rode ahead and warned Brandon he'd be arrested, eh? Well? Mister, you're under arrest. Sergeant, see that he gets to the guardhouse. And see that he's locked in. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Found in Brandon's home by the captain, the Lone Ranger was arrested for aiding in the deserter's escape. Meanwhile, Brandon rode toward the west, putting as much distance as possible between himself and the army post. Come on, boy. You've got to make miles. They'll be after me. Oh, you don't stumble now. Oh, I know I've been driving you hard all night and all day, but steady, boy, steady. Keep your head up. Get across this arroyo. Get across it. Look out. Ah! <coughs> Where are you? Who's that? Over this way, mister. I'm at the window. Who? Mrs. Brandon. You shouldn't be here at the guardhouse. Oh, it's all right. Nobody saw me. Have you heard about your husband? No, no. I haven't heard a word. The patrol that went after him, they, they came back last night. The regiment's getting ready to ride against Gary's outlaws. Oh, I should have listened to you before, mister. My, my husband did the wrong thing. You worried about him. I, I got a funny feeling. Quiet. Something must Quiet. have happened. Someone's coming. I don't hear anything. Someone's coming. Turn away from the window. All right, but I... You will not make noise. An Indian. Where, white friend? Tonto, hear him in jail. Tonto, is that you? Ah, uh, me come when Any me... Any sign of Gary's men? Ah, uh, them may camp far off. Me come here, like you say. You learned that I was in prison. Ah, uh, what trouble? Never mind it now, Tonto. I gotta get out of here. Uh-uh, Tonto, do it. Will you help find my husband? We'll do what we can, Mrs. Brandon. Tonto, come back later on. The guard detail. Get back out of sight. Hurry. Tonto, uh. get away. Come back in two hours. We have work to do, and I can't do it in jail. Uh, this will not fit the large key. Hurry. Uh. Uh, that door is good. This way, Kimasabi. Where you got gun? Must be in here someplace. Near the desk. Here they are. You've got the horses? Uh, uh, Silver Scout, uh, out back of jail. Careful now. The guard's tied up and gagged. We may run into soldiers. Mister, you got to run for it. Captain Kanani. Mrs. Brandon, what are you doing in the guardhouse? You should know better. Don't move, Captain. What? A jail break. Just to one side. We're going out. Oh, no, you can't. I haven't time to wait for a trial, Captain. You'll find a note on the desk. It gives the exact location of Gary's band. You realize what you're doing, mister? Military right law. Right now, that doesn't matter. Come on, Tonto. Halt or I'll fire. Sorry, Captain. If you don't move, I'll have to make you. Oh. This way. Get his scout. Silver, here, Silver. Pull out the guard. Jail break. Pull out the guard. Steady, boy. Hit him. Uh, then come past. Uh, Silver, come on. Get him out of the scout. Pull the saddle, Tonto. Run him out of the scout. We're going to locate that deserter. This way, Tonto. Head west. I'll It's the right way. It's as clear as a blazed trail. Keep on, Silver. Brandon's horse can't travel fast. Oh, we find him. Maybe four sun high in sky. Then... What's that? Oh, now look. Oh. The storm's coming up. Looks like a bad one. Unless we locate Brandon soon, his trail will be washed out entirely. Rain bad. We hurry. Come on, Silver. Wherever Brandon is, we'd better get there. Quiet, boy, quiet. That's Gary's outlaws right below us. We almost stumbled into them. Uh, gonna rain mighty soon. Ain't got no food. Oh, my leg. <laughs> you and me both, huh, boy? We both got game legs. Just a couple of lame deserters. Only you ain't to blame. You don't know what you was doing. Just let me hang on to the stirrup for a while. Oh, I wonder how long I was lying on that arroyo. I'm worn out as a newborn here for... Ain't good for nothing. Yeah, yeah she's gonna pour. I can name but one thing to do. We'll join up with them outlaws. We gotta... We gotta eat, don't we? We've... What? In... Brandon. Well, I'll be... The mash, man. <laughs> Takes a long time to locate you, Brandon. Don't get too close to the edge of that cliff, mister. That's Gary's camp down below. Yes, so I see. Uh, him in the wrong place. How does it feel to desert, Brandon? It was right, stranger. It don't feel good. I've been squatting here right on the edge of this cliff, looking over Gary's camp. I was going to join him. 
Turn out, Lo, huh? What else I gotta do? Go back and take your medicine. For what? I want to go on living. You'd rather be hunted as an outlaw deserter? What about your wife? She thinks you've got courage. She believes in you. Never mind my wife. She thinks you made a mistake, too, Brandon. I told you to shut up. I ain't going back. I can't. It's gonna rain soon. I'm going down to that camp. Just leave me alone, understand? Very well, Brandon. The whole regiment believes you're a coward. I wasn't sure. The first time a man's under fire, he may break and run. Many do. It's when you don't come back that you're a coward. Kimosabe. Why are you staring down at Gary's camp? What's wrong? They move. Huh? You mean that isn't where you left them? No. Are they supposed to be here according to what you told the regiment? They move. Regiment think them further west. I see. Well, <gasps> look. Over across them hills. It's the regiment. They're marching west. Shadow. They have the wrong idea of Gary's position. They'll march straight into an ambush. They'll be killed. It'll be murdered. Oh, wait. Gary's outlaws heard the bugle, too. They're getting ready. Oh, that bad. We've got to warn the regiment. I thought you didn't care about the regiment. We've got to warn them. They'll be massacred. I don't care what happens to me. We've got to save the regiment. Can't... Listen, can't we build a signal fire or something? Good, Brandon. Come on, Tonto. We'll gather wood. They can see the smoke. Perhaps... No, no, it's too late. It's raining. We couldn't get a fire started. And if we could, they wouldn't see us. What are we going to do? They're marching straight for our ambush. We've got to save the regiment. Kennard. Kennard. Yes, Major. Give the order to close up. This rain is so heavy we can't see where we're going. It won't last long. Let it raise. We'll keep close formation. Right, sir. Bugler, sound close order march. Close order. Kennard. Yes, sir. I think we're safe in following the directions left by that Indian. We have nothing else to go on. According to that note, we have another full day's march before we catch up with Gary's outlaws. You think uh, that... The Major is worried? Well, after all, Kennard, that Indian helped the masked man escape. May I point out to the Major that you accepted the masked man in the first place? Yes, yes, the Lone Ranger, the Lone Ranger. He helped the deserter. He had to be arrested. Of course, we would have released him, but these civilians need discipline, Kennard. Helping a deserter. Even the Lone Ranger can't disregard Army regulations. What about the deserter, sir? We That's can't... enough. Who couldn't find him. We'll get after him later. First thing is Gary's outlaws. Yes, sir. That's our order from Washington. A band of bad men have terrorized this whole territory. It must be stopped once and for all. The Major's right. Slippery as an eel. This time we'll grab the whole crowd. Can't fail. And Captain. Yes, sir. Which way do we go? Huh? Use your eyes, man. The rain's heavy, but not that heavy. Heading straight for a bluff. Can't go over it. The regiment turns which way? Oh, we, we turn left, sir. There's a little pocket at the base of the bluff. We go through that and out the other side. Yeah, just as well we're alone out here. He's rolling hills. Bad spot for an ambush. Well, Captain, we'll head the regiment toward the... Major! Where's the Major? But in heaven's name. Kennard, we have no outriders. Who's that calling? Oh, no, sir. Can't see. The Major. There it is. That white horse up yes. ahead. Yes, yes. Coming this way. Halt the column. Column! Halt! What? Why, Major, that's the Lone Ranger's horse. So it is. So it is. Major, just... stop! Ambush up ahead! Well, I'll be... It's Brandon. Brandon, the deserter. Take it to Major's pardon. Where'd you get that horse? My horse was lame, sir. You gotta turn the regiment. You can't go this way. Brandon, as a deserter, you should be dealt with right Captain, here. Captain, sure, I deserve it, but that don't matter now. The Lone Ranger gave me his horse to come warn you. Him and the engine stand on guard so Gary don't place his men without they can do something about it. Really? Gary? Yes, sir. His whole crew is right ahead in that hidden park. Impossible. You're crazy. Gary's a full day's march ahead. I tell you, he ain't. He moved. You gotta believe me. Leave a deserter? Major, I tell you, there's only one thing to do. Take the column around this way. You can surprise Gary and get him from behind. The masked man, the engine will keep him busy on this side. How do we know you're not with Gary yourself? Thank you, Florida. We sure had you, Brandon. No, sir, it was the masked man, but I had to warn you. That's enough. Captain. Yes, sir. Get the color moving. Close order. Keep him as quiet as possible. Come by fours. That's real. We'll close with Gary's outlaws in less than an hour. Tell the men to look to the rifles. Major, can I go along? I gotta make up for dessert, and I got it. Major, up ahead, there they are. There is that was. Hitler, sound the charge. Turn me, soldier. Charge! <laughs>
fire. They surrender. Cease fire. Cease fire. You men, round them up. Place them under arrest. That engagement, Captain. Fine work. We've got Gary and this whole outlaw band. Why? Here comes a masked man, Major. Yes. Major Selby. I see that Brandon warned you in time. Mister, you and this Indian have done the government a real service. Thank you. Now, by the way, this is Brandon's horse. He's a trifle lame, but he'll recover. Here's your horse, mister. He sure wonder. <laughs> Good boy, Silver. This was one time you carried another rider. <laughs> Silver, him take rider when you tell him to. <laughs> that why. Hey, Brandon, <laughs> uh, what moment? I wasn't going to a place, Major. I guess you want to put me under arrest. I'm ready to take my medicine. Uh, Captain Kennard, how did this, uh, this desert of fight? Brandon, sir? Like a wildcat. Uh, uh, Brandon, you deserted. I ain't uh, trying to get out of it, sir. Your nation man, let me finish. I said you deserted, but uh, <clears throat> you made up for it by your gallant conduct today. Captain, we're going to forget the whole business. I hoped you'd feel that way, sir. A breach of discipline, but after all, well, today you proved what you were made of. Major, I... I don't know how to thank you. Stop it, stop it. Don't want thanks. All the army wants is bravery and courage. And we are getting it from you. <clears throat> you, uh... You can tell your wife I said so. Well, as for you, mister, I... Uh, well, I... Uh, Captain, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Who, sir? Who? Who do you think? The Lone Ranger, the masked man. Want to thank him, too. He and the Indian are gone, sir. See them out there? I don't think they want thanks, sir. Not the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.